not able to see your screen ma'am is it same with everyone no so no, no, we are able to yeah, yeah. Uh, for uh, the first one is the description uh, as we are discussing right so it gives the information on what the description is about uh, test case is about okay and whereas coming to next next one is uh, we'll discuss about the depends on method for example if you are having some functionality whereas you wanted uh, for, take this uh, same amazon application and if you wanted to uh, if you wanted some of the test cases that are to be executed only once after executing the login functionality. Anyways, uh, if you wanted to perform any action, then uh, if you wanted to search any product or uh, add to the cart or uh, go for the payment page. Anyways, the, fun the functionality would be like first we have to log into the application and then add a uh, search for the product. And then add to the cart. And, and then go for the payment. Right. See, uh, this depends on method. Uh, it uh, how does this work is see, for example, if you wanted to search for any product, firstly, you should log into the application. So this functionality is dependent on this login functionality. And then for, even for adding to the cart also, you have to search for the product first. So in the, uh, indirectly, this add, add to the cart functionality is dependent on the searching the product and even at the same time lo login function, logging into the application. And then in the similar way, go to the payment uh, and uh, performing the payment also. It depends on the previous uh, actions that we perform. So for example, if we write a method for login functionality and the other method for uh, uh, searching the product and another method for adding the, adding them to the cart. So what all the things happening, so go to the payment is dependent on the cart functionality and it is dependent on the searching for the product and indirectly it is dependent on the login functionality. So if you wanted this test case to be executed once after executing this test case, I mean this method, then we give the tag as depends on method. See, for example, I wanted some test cases. Uh, uh, in test ng, how the execution is happening is it depends on the alphabetical order. See, for example, if you are not you are not at all aware of anything, uh, like uh, you are not aware of the depends on method, you are not aware of the priority, you don't know anything. Firstly, you know that only test ng will execute the test cases depend uh, based on the alphabetical order see for example this is my test case uh, and its name uh, this is my method and its name is test case 1 and i am having another method called test case 2 see for example uh, uh, you consider it as um, any other name add to cart sorry This is my method uh, based uh, in test ng how the execution is happening is it depends on the alphabetical order. Uh, for example, I'm not at all giving any kind of priority. I'm not at all giving any kind of dip depends on method. Then how the test uh, methods will be executed is first it will execute the add to cart method. See, you don't consider it uh, with the exa example that we have discussed previously. Just consider the name that has started method name that has started with the alphabet A and consider the method name that has started with the alphabetical uh, alphabet. Then in this case, how the execution will be is uh, firstly this. Uh, the method which we are having for this add to cart will execute first and later the test case with the test case uh, number test case one will execute later. That means in alphabets, we are having A first and then T, right? So it will execute in this way. First, it, it will execute the method which uh, which is named as add to cart. And later, it will execute the method which is named as test one. So I don't want this test case one to be executed for the first. And I want this. Uh, sorry, I don't want this add to cart method to be executed first and I wanted this test case one to be executed for the first and then this test case has to be executed. So and at that point of time, what can I do? I can simply give the dependency method. So this de method depends on this method. So firstly, this method has to be executed and then it should has it should be executed 
for the second time. And uh, the key, the thing what happens in this uh, depends on method is if the method, this method is dependent on this method, right? So if it fails to execute this method, then the second method that is dependent on this first method will not execute. Is it clear? Uh, let me execute once. Yeah, once. So then, uh, through ASCII only it will uh, execute, right? Uh, methods without priority. Sorry? Through ASCII value, only execution will execute, right? Yes, we see, Kumar. Already, we already discussed, right? Without there is a priority, then it will, uh, the test case should execute based on this one. But uh, actually, there is two, only two methods only, right? Yeah, yeah. That's why it is like this. Yeah. Okay. See, without giving any priority, without giving any dependency, uh, for example, I'll just uh, remove this one. Once again. I'll just uh, comment this method and I'll try to execute it once. See on how the execution is. Firstly, it will execute. Uh, yeah, first what uh, I'll try to do one more thing. See, I'm not at all using any attributes here. What I'm doing, just I'm writing two methods. One method is test case one method and the other method is add to cart method. See, uh, okay, and now the thing is, uh, in test engine, based on the alphabetical order, the execution will, will be happened. So I'm just, uh, I have written two methods, whereas one method is, uh, I have just given the description, that's it. Uh, in order to not create any disturbance, I'll just uh, in comment that. And now I'm having two methods, whereas one method is test case one, whereas I'm having two statements that were to be printed there. And I'm having the other method, which is add to cart method. And oh, now the thing is, uh, in test ng, the methods will be executed based on the alphabetical order. So now, now we will see that. Which method is being executed first? No attribute is used and it is printing. Good morning. So in the line number 17, uh, you have commented at it. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Sorry, just a moment. Yeah. Now, what happened? It has add. Uh, it has executed the add to cart method first, and later it has executed the test case one method. Why? Because in alphabets we are having A first and then T, right? So it depends on the alphabetical order, and it will execute the methods in the same way. And now, what I'm doing is, I'm just doing the dependency what i'm doing and I'm, I'm making this test case to be dependent on the first test case so i'm ex executing it now so see what will happen it has printed good morning no attributes uh, no attributes used good morning and then it has printed the add to cart uh, have you guys observed the difference on what the things happen depend depends on method by using this, we can execute a specific test case. For example, if you wanted to have the login functionality, we will consider the same then. Uh, I'll modify the method name. Login method. This is my login method. And this is my add to cart. And I will I'll try to write one more. Uh, okay, it's enough now. Uh, see, for example, if you're having login method and then search for the product. Okay, oh, you are performing two actions. One is the thing you are logging into the application and you are searching for the product. So whenever the situation is, uh, 
for any kind of application, first we need to uh, perform the login functionality. So we will keep the tag as depends on method on which method it is dependent on. It is dependent on the method. Login method. Now how it happening, how it happens is it will first execute the test uh, methods, me method login method, and then it will execute the method search product. It is in the same way. You have observed it, right? That is the thing with uh, depends on method. Description. Description is nothing but it explains on what the test case content is about. Uh, is it clear, Tim, or any clarifications required on this? Yeah, it's clear. Uh, sorry. I need it from everyone. Let's go. So, Zinia, I have one query. Got me here this side. So, in yes, dependency uh, and depends on methods. Uh, suppose if we have 100 test cases, uh, so first we want to execute a login, and the second priority goes to logout. Uh, likewise, uh, so if you wanted to print uh, the statements uh, in such order, like uh, you know, how do you mention here? Do you mention the method name or uh, you go by the you know uh, sequence? Sorry, can you please come once again? Uh, no, so suppose if we have 100 test cases. Mm -hmm. uh, so let me just uh, clear uh, depends on methods. No, uh, we use only to particular method. Sorry, particular. Uh, uh, test case, if you wanted to execute, then we'll go for depends on methods, right? If we wanted to have any uh some set Specific of methods that, okay. uh, that has to be uh executed once after executing the uh see for example i wanted to have my uh as we discussed right now right uh uh i wanted to add to cart and i want uh and it has to be executed once after executing the searching of the product so i give this as dependent on this search product and may on what is your doubt? Okay, so it's like you know, inter. Uh, yeah, I got it. I understood in different way that you know. So when we wanted to execute the specific test case, then we go on for depends on methods. No, no. I, now I cleared. So I just no, joined. If, in if you Instagram. want only, if you want only specific test case to be executed, uh, it is in different case. See now the thing is what all the dependencies we are having we are clearing about that see for example what uh, interlinking right so login functionality uh, this uh, searching product is dependent on this login uh, method yes, yes, and uh, add to cart is i just wanted to be uh, clear about this point yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. is it clear yes ma'am See, uh, now what we have done, uh, it, um, now we are having three methods. One is the login method, one is the searching for the product, and one and the other one is the adding to cart. So uh, we, we, everyone knows that once after doing the login function, uh, login only, we can go for the uh, home page, and in home page, we can search for, for the product. And then after searching, we can choose any product and we can add it to the cart. So a login uh, searching for a product is indirectly dependent on login and even add to cart is dependent on the search product if we search for anything only then we can add it to the cart right so we have given the dependency tag for these test cases uh, for these methods so uh, once after executing we we can see the result here for login first search for apple watch add to cart it has executed in this sequence on uh, based on the dependency that we have provided and by this we came to know what is description description is nothing but 
uh, it, it explains on what the test case is about and the dependency method is if we wanted to have a method that has to be executed first and after that we are, if we wanted some specific uh, test case to be executed then we give the tag as dependency tag so with this we are clear about description and depend depends on method and the other one is priority see for example uh, we are uh, having the test ng and in which we have the uh, execution order is in alphabetical order and uh, we can change the we can alter the execution by using depends on method and we also have priority see for example if you are having some set of 100 test cases and you want only specific uh, a specific order in which the test cases have to be executed see for example uh, you can go with this depends on method if you are having uh, uh, it, it, it is dependent on some specific method in case of priority on how it happens is if you want to uh, see, for example, I'm having 10 test cases and I want one test case to be executed at uh, first and the specific test case to be executed in a second and the in that order, if you wanted to execute any test cases, then how it happens is we can use the, uh, the attribute as priority. So for example, here I'm having two test cases. Uh, I mean two methods whereas I have given them priority as priority one and priority two see if any priority is not given then it will be considered as zero priority see for example I'm having the test cases in this way we will see on how it happens see for example method one and method two uh, we are not having any dependent depends on method and we are not having any priority so on how the execution will be it it uh, it follows the alphabetical order so based on the alphabetical order we are having method one and method two till method it is same right and uh, we are having one and two so this test case will be executed first and this test case will be executed next so we'll see on how the result is based on priority one it has executed first and based on priority two it has executed second and in the similar way i'm having Mm. Now I'm using the attribute priority one and priority two. Uh, let's see. For previously, what happened? Method one has executed first, and method two has executed second, right? Now I'm changing the priority. I'm giving the priority as two for this test um, uh, method and uh, priority one for this method. Now we will see on how the execution is. Now you can see, right? Based on it might be confusing you here. Let me change this also. Yeah. And now you can see. Based on priority one, based on priority two, method two has executed first and method one has executed next. It is in this way. Usually what should happen uh, based on alphabetical order, method one should be executed first and later method two. So now as we have as uh, given the priorities this method two is executing first and then coming to the prior uh, method one so description we have discussed what is the description it is nothing but the um, um on what the test case is about depends on method is something like if you are having some set of test uh, methods like login method, search for the product, add to the cart, go to the payment, and which were to be dependent on the previous methods, then we use the tag called depends on uh, attribute called depends on method. And the other one is if you are having some test, uh, some set of test cases, uh, three, four, five. Okay, and you wanted this test case to be executed first, second, third, fourth, fifth. In that case, we can use the priority. So by using priority, uh, we can we can execute the test cases in which order we want to execute them. See, for example, if any priority is not given, we have discussed it like uh, if priority is given, then it will execute first. And the execution order will be we, whatever the priority is. Uh, I mean, uh, the lowest number we have given that method will execute first and the priority based on that it will increase i mean uh, from alphabet 
sorry numerical numerical values based on the numerical values it will execute for example one is the lower numerical value so it will execute the test case priority one first and priority two second in that in that order it will execute see for example if i'm not giving any kind of priority here uh, see what happened previously it has executed the priority one test case first method first and priority two method second now i'm giving without without giving any priority let's see on how the execution happens no priority is given and based on priority i'll execute that uh, see it has executed no priority is given and then based on priority one what i mean to conclude here is uh, Firstly, we have to notice three pointers. In test ng, it follows the alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. If dependent depends on method is given, it will execute the method on which the second method is dependent, and the next method second and uh, if the method which is on which the second method is dependent for example if we are having a method one and method two and method two is dependent on method one if method one is failing then the method two will not be executed this is about the depends on method and the next one is priority in priority if uh, if we have given the priority as one priority as two then the method which is given as a priority one will execute first and the method which is given as priority two will execute second. It means the lowest priority will be executed first. If no priority is given, then it will be considered as zero priority. And first it will execute the method which is which is not having any priority. It means zero priority method first and then it will execute the method one. We have seen it here, right? It has executed. Uh, for uh, for this method, I haven't given any priority. So it has considered as zero priority and it has executed this method first and later uh, based on the priority one, it has executed this method. And see, it, it will be in the similar way. Uh, for example, if we are having another method also and uh, which is given as a priority two. Uh, uh, and I'm giving this as priority two, and I'm naming this method as uh, method three and based on priority two. See uh, what ha we have discussed previously, right? The lowest priority will be executed first, and then it will goes to the highest priority. So, for example, here we are having three methods. One method is without any priority, and the other two methods were based on the priority, priority one and priority two. So, for example, uh, for example, if you are not having this method, let's say we have commented this method. Okay, and now I'm trying to execute it. We will see uh, on how it is. It has executed two methods, method two and method three. We have given priority to both of the methods. One is the based on priority one and the other one is based on priority two. See. It is in this way based on priority and lowest priority has executed first and then it has gone to the highest priority and now we are have we are also having the method without priority as i have explained to you previously with the, if it is not having any priority it will consider as zero priority and this is the one without priority this is the one with priority two priority one and priority two so as we have discussed it will execute the method which is not having priority for the first as it is considering as zero priority and next is priority one and the next is priority two okay uh, any doubts here or is it fine team then uh, what is the difference between ma'am uh, priority and depends on method suppose the priority is also running uh, means we are giving the priority and they will run that zero one two and uh, mm -hmm. that log uh, and depends on method also suppose they are depending on the other method they will first run then uh, another one will uh, will run that then what is the difference between that uh, 
I'm asking. Okay. Uh, see, for example, it is dependent on that method only. We can, I mean, if it is dependent on specific method, then we go for that. If you are not having any dependencies, then we use this priority. We are not having any dependencies, but we are in a in intention. We are in an intention to execute them in a specific order. So in that case, we go for this priority. It is not at all dependent on any other method, right? Method one is not dependent on method two. Method two is not dependent on method three. It is not at all depending anywhere. The, whereas in this case, we are having some dependencies. But pattern is the same, you know, means I'm asking. Uh, uh, even though you have a like dependent method also, they are also have a priority. OK, think like that. OK, okay. so it will uh, according to that one, it will exude. For example, you have hundreds of hundreds of methods are there. So inside, inside that one, there is a lot of dependency methods and different modules are there. So based on that one, we are giving the priority for that one also. Then it will execute according to that one priority also. OK. And in the in the dependence also we have two types are there. One is like soft dependency and hard dependency. Okay. Hello. Okay, sir. Yeah, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Um, Thank you, ma'am. And uh, one we have discussed about the description depends on method and the priority. And now the thing is timeout. See, for example, if you are having a, a, set, a test case and which is taking lots of time for execution and. Yeah, for example, if we are having some. Uh, we are having. Sorry. In this case, we are having three methods. Uh, one, me one method is login method. One met method is depends on method. And the other method, sorry. Uh, one method is search for product. And the other one is the add to cart method. See, for example, uh, if it is this way, it will be confusing for you. Let me modify the method names. Method one. Method two. And the other one is method three. Method three. Mm -hmm. I'm removing this description as your. Uh, Okay, depends on method one. Okay. For example, uh, what do you mean by this time order? See, for example, if you're having two methods and which are depend uh, method one and method two. For example, this method two is dependent on this method one. And whereas this method one, sometimes it is taking much time to execute. And based uh, because, because of that reason, this method two is being failed. See, uh, see? Uh, it uh, usually it should execute uh, within two seconds, uh, certain time, and it is not being executed in that specific time, and it is being delayed. And uh, the method which is dependent on this method, okay, it is failing because of that time or uh, that time specific time. Uh, so in that case, what usually we do is we give certain time for execution of this this method one and if it is executed in that certain time then it will go for the method two and if it is not executed in that specific time okay just give me one
Yeah. Uh, see, as we are discussing, uh, uh, this method is dependent on this method. And uh, it has to be executed once after executing this test method. See, for example, if this method is taking much time to execute and uh, because of that uh, taking time, this other test case is failing. So in to avoid that situation, what we do usually do is uh, the time of the time period, certain time period will be al allotted for this method. And if, for example, if we give uh, as a, let me take us. OK, and uh, yeah, um, as this method is taking much time and because of which the method two is failing, then we give certain time period for that test case to be executed. And if it is executed within that specific time, OK, it's well and good. It will execute both the test cases. And if it is not executing in this certain time, it will go for the next method and it will execute the second method. That is what called as dependent uh, time out method timeout attribute. Uh, am, am I clear team? See, for example, if you are having a test case, uh, if you are having two methods and if one method is taking much time to execute and because of which the other method is being failed, so we give certain time period for this method to execute and get passed. So if it is passed, then it will execute both the test cases. If not, then it will skip this test method and it will execute the second method. Is it clear or uh, any confusion here? Team? Yeah, Is this 200 means 200 yeah, yeah. seconds or anything? Milliseconds. Oh, okay. Leela, you want to add any pointer here? No, sorry. I'll give that uh, like selenium some example real time, so that is better. Okay, uh, for example, uh, I don't sleep. OK, for example, uh, if you are having a, any element that is to be find out, uh, see, for example, if you are searching for any product in an application and uh, uh, if you are searching for something, uh, one button to be enabled anywhere. OK, let me take it in this way. OK, and uh, let's consider as an example in this way. See, it is one application and whereas we are having some products over here. And uh, I'm just trying to search for a product and add it to the cart. Uh, for, a, for say, just for an example, you, you consider it as uh, you, you're not able to find any add to cart method. And now that is one method. And whereas the other method is uh, you wanted to search for two products. One product is a steel bottle and you have to add it to the cart. See, you are successfully able to search for the products, but you're not able to add to the cart. Uh, see, you're not at all. Uh, you're not able to see any kind of add to cart button here. See, you have to select the product and then you will be able to see the add to cart. OK, and straight away with doing that action, if you are able to, if you are uh, trying to search for the product, 
and instead of selecting that and you're trying to add it, add it to the cart so this uh, and you're not performing anything here okay in this situation it will wait for the add to cart button for some time and it will stop the execution there and it will go for the search and it will search for another product okay we are having two methods one method is for searching the bottle uh, two scenarios you can consider one one is for searching for the bottle and adding it to the cart and the other one is searching for the teddy bear see for example you are able to search for the water bottle and as you haven't selected any specific product you are not able to see the add to cart see i'm not able to see the add to cart anywhere are you guys able to see here no right once if you select any specific product then only it will uh, take us to the page of that specific product and the add to cart button will be visible for us and we can easily add it to the cart see in the similar way if we are having uh, as we are saying one is the searching for the steel bottle adding to cart and the other one is searching for teddy bear okay there are two scenarios whereas one is the searching for the bottle and add to cart and the other one is searching for teddy bear and uh, for adding to the steel botting searching for the steel botting added adding to the cart what all the steps we have to follow one is the login we have to log into the application and the other one is searching and the other one is adding to the cart adding to the cart these are the th three steps that we have to follow okay for same while writing your test case you have uh, successfully written the login uh, step and you have successfully written the step for searching for the product and uh, somewhere you have missed adding to the cart now what happens it will log into the application it will search for the product and it will try to add it to the cart but whereas you have missed the step to write it to the uh, to write as adding it to the cart see now the test case will be waiting uh, uh, i mean the application will be waiting for searching for the add to cart button so whereas it will it will be taking much time to execute there and at last it will be failed because of that time period you know the second uh, uh, test case intention it is it will be not executed right so in order to avoid such situations why once after writing this test case if we give time out Means, which means it will wait for a certain time period. Uh, we will keep it as uh, 200 milliseconds. Then it will uh, it will wait for that specific time and it will come out of this test case and it will go for the second test case. The intention of timeout is that. Is it clear? See, timeout is nothing but if we are having a method and it is taking much time to execute and because of which the other test case is failing so we give certain time period for this method to execute and after that specific time it will stop for trying to execute that method and it will go for the next method and it will execute the second method it is in this way uh, is it clear or you need any kind of clarification on that no it's clear no. Okay, uh, and by this, we were able to consider about the description, timeout, priority, and depends on method. The other one is groups and the enabled. Groups is nothing but uh, if we wanted to uh, see, for example, if you are having some set of test cases, whereas some test cases were dependent on the search, uh, adding cart functionality and some test cases were dependent on the uh, searching for the product functionality so the test cases that were dependent on uh, searching functionality will be grouped to one group and whereas coming to uh, the cart functionality will be grouped to the another group so we are having two groups uh, whereas one is the searching for the product the other one is adding to the cart 
So the test cases will be grouped based on that functionality. So that is what about the groups. And the other one is enabled. Enabled is nothing but, for example, if you are having some set of test cases. In yesterday's class, I hope sir was discussing about the um, excluding, including of the uh, test cases, right? So, for example, if you are having by default, the methods will be enabled. If you want, if you're, for example, if you're having method one and method two, and if you want uh, only method one to be executed and the method two will be, uh, we, uh, stop executing method two, then you, you can use this enabled. By using this enabled and disabled, we can get to, we can halt the execution of the other method. Okay, and let me show you on how the thing is. For example, instead of giving here enable enabled i'm giving it as enabled uh the value will be boolean value by default as i told you uh, it will be uh, by default enabled so i'm giving it as enabled false so what I'm what my intention is, I'm having two methods, method one and method two. Uh, and I don't want this method one to be executed at this specific point of time. And I want only method two to be executed. So what I'm doing here is I'm giving this enabled and making it as false. And now the execution will be, it will execute only one. Hey, I'm executed. Only one method, it will be executed. See if you're not if you're not giving any kind of enabled or disabled here, it will by default it will be as enabled true. And if we are specifically mentioning it as enabled false, then it will halt the execution of this method. And whereas the other method will be executed. And I'm removing. Uh, I'm making it. See, I'm not giving this. And we will see on how the execution is. Now it will execute both the methods. Good morning. Hey, I'm hey, I'm executed. See, it it has executed two methods, and it has given the output. And now, in specific reasons, um, there might there might be a situation that we don't want some certain test cases to be executed. At that point of time, we use this enabled is equal to false. As we are not have giving any kind of enabled or disabled here, by default, it will be as enabled true. So it will consider that and it will ex start the execution. And now I have given as enabled false. So as previously, I'm not have giving any kind of enabled or disabled. It has executed two methods. And now I don't want this method to be executed this point of time. But later I will be executing. At that point of time, I'll remove this enabled or whatever. Uh, I'll make it as true and I'll execute the things. Now I don't want this method one. I want only method to be executed. I have given the enabled is equal to false and it has executed only method two and the output is that is relevant to the method to only we have got in the output. That is about the enabled or disabled. See, for example, uh, now the thing is description is nothing but the content of the test case will be given as a brief in the description. And the second one is timeout. Timeout is nothing but See, for example, if you are having some uh, test case, uh, two test cases and on which one test case is dependent on the other test case and the first test case, it is taking much time to execute and based on that, the second test case is failing. So in order to avoid such situations, we give certain time period for test case one to execute and then come to this set. Second test case. If it is failing, then it will stop the execution of the first test case and it will come to, for example, if you are given as two seconds, it will, uh, or uh, five seconds you have given. It will wait until five seconds. It will give chance to the first test case to execute and get passed until five seconds. Once after five seconds, it will immediately stop the execution. It will come to the next test case. It is, uh, it is used in that situation. Priority is nothing but if you are having some set of test cases, say for example, one to five, and you want the test cases to be executed in certain priority. 
like fifth test case has to be first, uh, has to be executed first, and next four, three, two, one, then we go for the priority. Depends on method. If you are having any specific dependency on certain methods, then we go for depends on method. If this method is dependent on login method and it is dependent on search for product method and it is dependent on the add to cart, we will give the uh, dependencies based on that the execution will be happened. Groups. Groups is nothing but uh, if we are having specific, uh, dip, uh, I mean, uh, for example, in Java T pointer or somewhere, we are having some example called fruits and vegetables. If we wanted to have a categorized uh, grouping, then we, I mean to say all the vegetables comes under vegetables, whereas fruits comes under fruits. In that way, there was an example. So it will be used in that way. For example, if we are uh, having some set of people and uh, whereas we were to segregate them uh, based on their uh, based on the based on their job. For example, if you are having some set of people with 10 people with in software career and 10 people in doctor or something other career. So we'll group all the software people in one group and whereas the other set of people with other uh, career will be uh, grouped into other group. So grouping is in that way. Enabled enabled is nothing but if you are uh, if you wanted to exclude any test case from uh, execution then we can give it as enabled to false if any enabled is not given then by default it will take it will have the enabled as true so it will if you're not giving any enabled or disabled it will execute entire set of test cases and if we give enabled as false for any specific test case then it will stop the execution of that test case and it will execute the remaining test case. For example, if we are having five test cases and if you wanted only four test cases to be executed and this uh, fourth test case to be uh, excluded, then we give as enabled false. Then it will stop the execution of this fourth test case and it will execute remaining test cases. Uh, 